Uh, some of you are already starting to pull out those fall decorations. Believe it or not, we are less than a month away till summer ends and the fall season begins. And with that, let's take another look at the forecast. One man is excited about that's right behind me here, Robert, yes. sir. Uh, ready for the fall and of course. No, no, let, let's, let, let's back that up. Better. I am ready for not winter, just for fall. Just I'm just right into it. Right? I, I'm just ready for the insane heat to be over with. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. And it was around to. 338 today, I guess, with the humidity yeah, right, yeah, added. Right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> it just felt like Venus outside, you know. <laughs> you but it, uh, the humidity has also been creeping up, but uh, seasonal temperatures are on the way over this uh, next week or so, folks. There's a live look outside to Fayetteville. Things are nice and quiet on this uh, Saturday evening, where in Fayetteville today, you were just barely above average by three degrees, 90 degrees at Drake Field. Average is 87. Both of these numbers, your average high and average low, are starting to step down about every other day or so. Just a sure sign that we are stepping down into fall. Meanwhile, Fort Smith was also uh, slightly above average by three degrees, 95 today. Your average for this time of the year is 92, but that average low is now out of the 70s into the upper 60s. So that's, a, that's another sign that things are starting to cool off here, at least climatologically. Uh, watching for rain chances the next three days here. Uh, as I said earlier tonight, if you missed it, the models are really having a hard time with these systems. So I would love to raise the, per, the, the percentage of precipitation there, but I just don't have the confidence in it because of how uh, you know inconsistent the models have been run to run with the placement of the rain. Right now outside, we're in the 70s and lower 80s in northwest Arkansas, uh, lower 80s and a few mid 80s hanging around uh, in the River Valley, 82 in Paris as well as Charleston. Rest of the night, no problems. Uh, some high clouds. It'll be muggy if you're taking your uh, pet out for a uh, uh, you know, their last walk of the day before you climb into bed. Now, tomorrow afternoon, here come some of those showers. Now, this is a lot less in coverage than what we were showing you at five and six tonight. Uh, you know, n another example of just how much the models are struggling with the amount of precipitation. But for the most part, it's over with by the time we get to sunset or so. Sunday night and into Monday looks quiet. And then there's a chance Monday afternoon We'll do it all over again with afternoon showers. Uh, lows tonight, mostly right around 70 in northwest Arkansas. In the River Valley, a few degrees warmer than that. We'll, we'll bottom out mostly in the mid 70s uh, by tomorrow morning. Highs tomorrow, rebounding upper 80s and lower 90s around where we should be for this time of the year. And there's a look at the extended forecast with those rain chances over the next couple of days. Thursday, you see their fall because Thursday, September 1st and September 1st is the first day of meteorological fall. So we say hello to one type of fall uh, as we leave summer behind and get into uh, meteorological fall and get into September. Can't believe Paul, as we show you the extended forecast for the River Valley, I cannot believe next weekend is the Labor Day holiday weekend. I know, yeah. flying by, I tell you, but